absolutely love taking on the hardest problems that we have here. There's a, a level of gratification and satisfaction when you have the answer that other people couldn't come up with. Being a data scientist is tackling hard problems and solving them any way you can. <laughs> There's ways that we can do things different. There's problems that we can solve, and we can use data to do that. So instead of waiting in line for 10 minutes in the morning to get my coffee, why can't we improve this process and leverage the data we have to make that more optimized? People still think in their head that mining is uh, shovels and pickaxes and, and mule carts down in a hole somewhere, and it's, it's far more technologically advanced than that today. We're talking about pieces of equipment that are larger than single-family homes, and these pieces of equipment are censored in ways that you wouldn't even expect. Um, we've got cameras that watch the dump pockets on the primary crushers. We've got sensors that tell us what the coolant temperature is on a haul truck. The sensors telling us how quick a ball mill's rotating. There's not anything that we can't really pull some insight out of. I would really look at the relationship. You can't solve a company's or an industry's hardest problems if you're not working with other people. You have to work with subject matter experts in that industry so that you can gain an understanding into why this is a problem for them and why it's, it's something that's gonna add value. What I love most about curling is the strategy and the amount of thought that has to be invested in each shot. It's like a game of chess in so much as there's hundreds of thousands of different decisions you could make at any given time. And the objective is to get as many 45 pound pieces of granite closer to the center of a target as the opponent. And how you do that is up for grabs. The team that I, I competed on recently won um, a national championship, and a lot of that was because we took the time to collect data on how we were throwing the rock, how many rotations were we each throwing, how could we slide out at the target better, and leverage that to practice smarter and, and become more consistent. So the idea would be that we could take this new optimized parameter. And the skill set to be a data scientist is vast. We're data engineers, so we connect to databases. We are statisticians because we run descriptive analytics against data sets. We are innovators. We develop unique algorithms or unique models to gain insight and derive answers. It's not easy, it, but, it, but it is very rewarding to come back to somebody who's been struggling with something and say, I found the answer to your problem and here's how I got it and here's how we can move forward to, to solve this permanently. To be a data scientist, there isn't necessarily a degree you can go get. I think that's changing, but you can become a data scientist out of any sort of technical degree. If you're not strong in math, you can work on it. If you're not strong in statistics, you can work on it. If, if it's something you want to do, there's people who will help you get there. People often see problems as something that get in the way or make life harder. I like to think of problems as an opportunity to do things better. And I think if you approach a problem with that perspective, that it changes how you start to see things. And the more you see problems as an opportunity to solve or something to overcome, the more fun they are to encounter.